What's your biggest WTF moment while driving? Car came up a exit on the highway going the wrong direction hit a car in front of me. The hit car flipped twice. The car driving the wrong direction was an old lady who must have got confused she died on impact. That was my second day as a delivery driver. I drive a moped and at a lot of stoplights. People roll down their windows to tell me about how they love mopeds and they drove one in Fiji that one time. I cannot roll my window up as there are none. It is a bad time. In Georgia we have some weird law where mopeds below a certain cc strength don't require a driver's license. This means if you get a DUI and lose your license you can still drive a moped to work. I frequently see dudes on mopeds ride by me in obvious work clothes. It's pretty hilarious. We all know what happened. Watching an old lady run a red light, turn onto the wrong side of the road and maneuvering her car through oncoming traffic to get to the grocery store. That's like every day in Florida. On the interstate going 75 miles per hour, past a lady with a coffee in one and a paperback book in the other, like she was relaxing in the bay window of her living room. The amount of people I see on the road reading actual books, magazines, newspapers and crap is terrifying. I've seen a guy doing paperwork on his steering wheel like he was filing his taxes. A girl flashed her tea at me out of the passenger seat. A guy was driving and he stayed beside me for a while to make sure I saw. Very awkward and confusing. I didn't know how to react. I had this happen once on an interstate not long before I was going to exit. The girl, passenger, had her tea out, and her boyfriend, I guess, driver, was looking at me for a reaction. I gave them a thumbs down as I took my exit, and they both just went ballistic. Hadn't really thought about it much until I read this. A strange glowing yellow oval object in the western night sky. Wife and I put it down to being a full moon partially obscured by cloud and discolored by bushfire smoke. Sydney in the summer. Until we turned a couple of corners and saw the beautifully clear, normal colored full moon in the east. Next day we found out it was the Whitman's chocolate airship. A chocolate airship sounds delicious. I was getting off the highway, and there was a long line on the exit there's a stop sign. And I was at the end of the line. Suddenly, a lady in a black van is speeding on the ramp and beeping. She moves to the side of the street and cuts everyone off. I was scared because this lady is a reckless driver. Anyhow, less than a mile from the exit, I'm stuck in a huge traffic jam. Turns out there was a huge car accident, involving that black van. Crazy driver lady got into an accident. What the fuck? A guy, riding a bicycle. In the dead of night, down the highway, 100 kilometers from the nearest city, in the middle of the winter in northern British Columbia, Canada, while also wearing no real protective gear for the freezing cold. That was a ghost Canadian. Was driving to school in the rain one day when all of a sudden a freaking bald guy on a raft floated across the road ahead of me on one of the rivers of water the rain had created. This definitely is to be the most out of the ordinary thing in this thread. Guy got pulled over near where I used to live, his car didn't have a steering wheel, he was steering with a pair of vice grips attached to the column. I think this happened in Western Australia as well. A guy was driving in front of me while turning left at an intersection, his dog was sitting in the passenger side looking out the window. I guess the force or turning left pushed the dog off balance because the dog flew out the window. The dog also had a leash tied to something inside the car so the dog ended up getting dragged outside the car while turning left through the intersection. He wasn't driving fast so the dog thankfully did not get torn to shreds but the dog definitely rolled around a lot and looked pretty shaken. The guy got out and put the dog back in the car and drove off. This reminds me of the scene in First Blood Part 2. The one where John Rambo's static line for his shoot gets snagged during the airdrop insertion. An old lady carelessly driving with no front wheel on the highway and seemingly just trying to get home. She didn't seem to care that sparks were flying out of her car. Driving in the backwoods in northern GA heading home. Moon is out. But this country bus road had no street lights. So basically my headlights are it. I can see silhouettes of things on the side of the road ahead of me. This massive shape comes out from behind a tree and begins squirming along the side of the road up ahead. I slow down and ponder if I wanna go forward anymore because, while I had no idea what it is, 
I do know it's large. Looks about as tall as my car. And just as long. And I thought I saw spikes on its back. And it's moving weird. I decide screw it and begin slowly going forward. I'm in a car. It can handle anything the state of GA can throw at it. Get closer to the thing and notice it's undulating funny. Turn ever so slightly to hit it with my headlights. It was a deer trying to hump another deer and I guess not quite getting in there. I didn't stop laughing until I got home because I was sure for a moment I was gonna be attacked by some ancient, unspeakable demon. I just got my learner's permit and was getting on the highway for the first time. A bird flew into my windshield as I was merging. No damage to the car anyway, but it was startling. I once had a standoff with a turkey vulture that didn't want to leave his meal in the middle of the road. It was pretty scary. Those things are huge. I was driving on the interstate, doing an easy 85. Dude in a Cadillac came flying by me. I glanced over to see him reading a novel, like a thick paperback book, held open across the steering wheel. Nope. 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 Time to stop being on that road for a bit. Saw a package of hot dogs on the street. The car in front of me drove over them, ripped the package, and fired the dogs in the air. One of them landed on my windshield, and rolled down until it essential turned my windshield wiper into a catapult. I fired the hot dog into the open window of the car driving next to me and hit the driver in the face. I was alone. Driving home at around 1am, I pull up to a stop sign. There is a car stopped at the stop sign in front of me. He's not moving. His dome light is on. I'm thinking okay, he must be looking at a map or something. This was mid 90s, so that actually makes sense. I go around the left side of his car and pull up next to him, to go around him. I look over, he's staring right at me. Maybe it's because of the way the dome light was positioned behind his head, but it looked like he had no eyes. Like empty sockets, staring right at me. It scared the frick out of me, and I will never forget it. I was almost late to work one morning about 20 years ago because there was a man that was naked. He did have some socks on, in the fast lane of our busy Los Angeles freeway walking around with what appeared to be a bible in his hands. I am all for reading the bible in the morning but perhaps fully clothed and at a coffee shop or something? Don't worry guys, he wasn't actually fully nude, he had socks on. One time I was in like a trance and ended up in my driveway with no recollection of anything in between. I was driving an autopilot, which was terrifying in a way. Within half a block I first saw a guy stop so hard on his motorcycle that he went up on his front wheel and almost tipped over. Then another guy who stopped at a red light with a ladder on his roof that shot out into the intersection because it had been improperly secured. Both were potentially lethal or at least could have gotten someone sent to the air. Both were incredibly lucky that nothing happened other than they looked like dangerous idiots. Both gave me incredibly embarrassed looks right after their respective incidents occurred. A trained and experienced motorcyclist can do that safely. In traffic it's a stupid freaking idea, but very possible. Saw this woman eating an entire pizza, not slice by slice. She had taken the entire circular pizza, folded it, and was eating it sort of like a taco. That's not so much WTF, as it is TFH. That's freaking hilarious. Driving in the freeway, my right eye suddenly became blurry. I thought I was having a stroke. I'm like, WTF I'm dying. I was panicking for a good 10 seconds before realizing that my right eyeglass lens just came loose and fell. Crap, nice. I once hopped in on a cold but sunny morning, saw my sunglasses in the side pocket and threw them on. Couldn't see crap. Turned the fans on to clear the windscreen and waited. Nothing happening. Mess around thinking the fans aren't working properly. Take glasses off to get a better look. Windscreen was clear. Glasses were not. Was involved in a minor accident when a lady came to a full stop while trying to merge from one lane to another at a weird off ramp. Our lane came from one street and could take you to another small street by staying in the lane. Or merge onto the off ramp which takes you to a major street through the city. She then figured she had space to merge so started moving again. So I checked my side to see if I could make it. There were no cars coming. Not 5 seconds after we're moving again. While we're both halfway into the next lane. 
She full brakes again and I slam my brakes and swerve into the original lane but clip the rear passenger side of her bumper, going 10 mph by that point, thankfully. Full stop. The damage was minimal. Quarter size dent. But rather than pull over to the side of the road to assess the damage like I did, she gets out of her car while in the middle of the two lanes to check the damage and locked herself out of her still running car. Ended up having to wait 45 minutes for a locksmith while traffic got backed up like crazy. 5 p.m. on a weekday so she could get into her vehicle, pull over, and swap information. I've always hoped some idiot would do that. Sorry you lost so much time though. I was driving up this road in one of those intersections where the road approaches on an angle coming from my direction. Kind of like a letter Y if I was traveling toward the bottom along the longer segment. Came up. A woman in a grey Honda Odyssey pulled up to the intersection and came to a full stop. She looked at me, made eye contact with me, and waited until my car was almost beside hers before she pulled out onto the road, missing my front end by inches. I braked hard and nearly ran into a mailbox jerking the wheel to the right, laying on the horn. I've always wondered WTF was wrong with that woman. There was no excuse. I was driving somewhere, I don't even remember where, but there was a guy in front of me who stopped at every traffic light, whether it was green or red. The street is just two lanes but there's a divider in between them so I couldn't pass him. The speed limit was 45, he was doing 30 at best and would stop at green lights for about 10 seconds before going. When I got the chance to pass him, I didn't, because I wanted to see if he would continue. We had only gone through 2 lights so far, went through 5 more lights like that, all green, very obviously, and he would crawl up to it at a snail's pace, wait 10 seconds, then ever so slowly drive through. I eventually passed him, he was in the left lane, because of course he was and was surprised to see a healthy looking mid 20 something guy who wasn't texting or on the phone or a computer and looked for all the world like a normal driver. That was really weird. Another time was when I had just washed my windshield at the gas station and not 30 miles later a bird crap on it. It sounded like a hailstone or a large rock or chunk of packed snow hitting the windshield, and the splat it left was about 4.5 inches across. That really made me say WTF. Big Bird said hello that day. A guy next to me on a motorcycle, he was like 60, he randomly started doing tricks like standing on the seat. All I kept thinking is this fool is gonna fall and I'm probably going to run over him. I slowed down so I wouldn't be as close and traded WTF looks with the lady driving the minivan behind him. Also, one time I was DD and driving some people home. They were drunk and giving crappy directions and I took a turn down this small side street. Very dark. Narrow. No curbs. There was a tiny gas station that was closed but I pulled in to turn around because they didn't recognize anything. Across the small parking lot from the store was an actual payphone booth. When I turned around, my headlights illuminated the payphone. The door was open and there was a freaking clown standing in it, holding the phone and staring at us. Now, I know it was probably just some guy calling for a ride. But it was almost 3am in the summer and it scared the crap out of us and sobered my friends up enough to give me directions to their house. I booped a biker. They pulled out right in front of me while I'm driving in a 40 zone. Didn't even hesitate to look for cars. I slammed on my brakes and horn and they didn't even look back. I ended up just tapping them enough for their bike to wiggle, but they just kept riding and turned down the next street. I couldn't believe the entire interaction. It always amazes me how stupid bikers can be considering they are the ones who are in the most danger from a collision with cars. The other day I almost hit a biker who rode right through a red light into oncoming traffic. An RV pulling a car, but the car obviously had not been put into neutral or drive. Tires were gone and the metal hubs and brake pads were pretty sparking and almost flattening out. It was so loud I don't know how they didn't notice. When you tow a car, it's inclined. Always use your parking brake on an incline. There was a wreck a few cars ahead of me and the car started to catch on fire. All of a sudden two black guys burst out of the trunk and just started running through traffic. I was driving down the 405 in La when in the oncoming lane there was an approaching car. On its roof. Spinning like a top. It stayed perfectly in its lane. I just watched it go by and thought. WTF and just went about my way on to work. 
the 405 in lap, found the problem. Christmas Day, driving along and the person in the next lane just decides to switch without thinking to signal or even check whether anybody else was there, missed us by about 5 inches as we swerved into the next lane, something we knew was safe to do as we had been actively checking our side mirrors and knew it was clear. B. There are just as many people on the road traveling to visit family on Christmas morning that there are at any other time of the day. Not as exciting as the rest of you lot, but dang this woman was on another freaking planet. I had one of those big butt trucks do this to me once. It was terrifying. People are stupid. One time on the highway I saw a car parked on the side of the road completely engulfed in flames. Not a little bit on fire. Straight out of a movie twice the height of the car fire. It was sitting by itself. No people around. No emergency vehicles. With traffic going past it at a normal speed like it wasn't even there. Saw a woman in Jacksonville, Florida cutting her hair while driving. She was steering with her knees and she had scissors in one hand and a brush in the other. Florida breeds a special kind of crazy. A huge accident in a four-way stop, was army medic on leave and jumped out to help. Two people died this day. I can't say specific information about incident but a kid survived against all odds with internal bleeding and two collapsed lungs. Tough little bastard. A person in the traffic circle stopped to let someone into the traffic circle. This particular circle is the only one in the area so a lot of people don't know how to use one. There are a lot of rotaries in my area and people still don't know how to use them. On I-94 about a half hour out of Fergus Falls, MN at 2am some friends and I saw a woman just casually strolling on the shoulder. It was in October, so pretty cold, and it would probably take her at least a few hours to walk into the city from where she was. It spooked us the frick out. Sometimes you've just gotta keep moving. Once in Los Angeles a guy got in an accident and it flung his dead body from the car in such a way that he landed on the freeway sign above all the cars, and they couldn't get him down for a few hours. I saw that dude. Also one time I saw like 200, guessing here, seemed like an awful lot. Silicone beige dildos glued to a wall right after a tunnel on a highway in Arizona. I still wonder about that. Must have been a high school prank. IDK. My father throwing his weight onto the steering wheel to abort my left turn in an attempt to force me to drive straight into oncoming, turning, traffic. Not driving but in driver's ed our teacher brought us to the intersection to see how many poor driving habits we could spot in 5-10 minutes. Lots of people were on their phones whether talking or texting but this one middle aged woman had freaking book on her steering wheel and was looking back and froth from the book in the road. I was driving down the main road through my town recently when I heard a VRRRR of ruin behind me. Glanced to my right, saw a guy on a crotch rocket. I think that's what they call those itty bitty little motorcycles right? Whipping in and out of traffic and just as he passed me, he did a wheelie and nearly fell over backwards. I had just left my house and started my drive to work. A few blocks from my house, pretty busy road. A homeless man walks out into the middle of the street, stopping traffic both ways, and proceeds to projectile vomit all over the road. Doesn't hit any cars, just sprays for days all over the asphalt. Once he's done, he walks off of the road and back onto the sidewalk like nothing had happened. I fishtailed my way off to work. After dinner with my current GF was driving back to her parents. Approaching a roundabout which has a blinder so you have to really slow down and basically stop before entering. And this work pickup was right on my butt. Mind you it's like 11pm no one else on the road in the lane to my right goes the same way so no need. As I am slowing I realize if I brake hard enough to stop then I am getting rammed into the roundabout with very little I can do about it. So I look as best I can and floor it onto the roundabout narrowly missing a car. Well Mr. Asha pickup is annoyed for whatever reason, maybe my attempted braking for a junction aggravated him, and decides to block me on the roundabout from my exit, so we go around like 3 stroke 4 times, eventually I come to a complete stop, he begins to get out of his car and I decide to nope the frick out and reversed a bit and cut just behind his car and speed off down whatever exit I can find. So I am lost, this guy overtakes me. I am already doing like 60 in a 40, spins around and drives head on at us doing like 60 pulling out at the last second. 
Called police gave gave plate number, description of him and direction he went in. They did nothing. Friend and I were driving home after hanging out late at night. We were on a pretty busy street. It is a college town. And we were just playing some tunes. My friend would do some pretty funny gestures and dances to the people in the cars next to us. Most of them laughed or they just became extremely awkward and ignored us. We pull up to this big, old, diesel pickup truck and my friend decided to dance and do some gestures towards them in hopes for a reaction. The guy in the pickup truck became extremely angry, and when the light turns green, he slows down and gets into our lane. He then attempted to run me off the road by tailgating me. I was freaking out at this point, so I decided to go faster and try to lose him, but to no avail. I took left into this quiet, kind of desolate neighborhood that hardly had any street lights, hoping that he would just drive past and leave us alone. Nope. He took the same turn as we did and followed us throughout the whole neighborhood, and turned on his brights, as an attempt to blind me. I finally found an exit back out to the main street, and took a right turn in fear of him ramming into the back of me. I almost slammed into the car coming, but luckily they slowed down and laid on their horn. I sped off and didn't see him for a while. I had thought we had lost him, but we heard the roar of his engine. He came out from the car behind me, and got into the right lane and sped up to get closer to our window. I then saw a left turn into a shopping center up ahead and took a sharp turn straight into it. The truck driver attempted to do the same but missed it, causing him to get stuck in the left lane, and continue driving forward. My friend and I parked in the parking lot, both freaking out. We called the police about the incident, but we were too busy trying to escape him that we hadn't got his license number, so there was nothing they could really do. The rest of the drive home was silent, and it still remains the weirdest encounter I have ever had while on the road. It's not extremely awkward to ignore people trying to distract you while you're driving. Driving to work on the interstate and I was about two cars behind this red van. We were cruising and all of a sudden this van swerved to the left lane and then swerves back into the right lane, off the road and down the hill, flipping men at times. Many cars stopped and pulled over. I passed the accident and saw a crushed dog on the right side of the road. Unfortunately I couldn't stop because of work but I called 911. I've seen accidents before and even been in a couple but that made my jaw drop especially seeing that dog. I was driving at night in the hammer. Bonus points to anyone who can tell me where it is. And I pull up next to a bus at a stop light and look at the bus driver. He was brushing his teeth on the bus. Just sitting there brushing his teeth at a red light. I once saw a van with a company logo that greatly resembled the swastika on it. It was just so weird and off-putting that I couldn't stop laughing. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.